Hello, my name is Tim Weiss, and I'm a professor of material science and engineering at Johns Hopkins University. And I'm also the director of the Material Science in Extreme Environments University Research Alliance that is funded by DITRA. That's the Defense Threat Reduction Agency. In my lab, we focus on three types of materials, reactive metals, biodegradable metals, and structural metals. And we do this using a combination of both basic and applied research. I've always been interested in metals and how we can control their properties by tuning both their microstructure and their chemistry. In fact, when I first arrived at Hopkins, my group and I focused on sweater depositing thick foils, but with hundreds of nanoscale layers of metals that mix exothermically. These foils served as model materials for studying both exothermic phase transformations, as well as acting as local heat sources for soldering components together. In fact, the soldering worked so well that it led to the founding of a company called Reactive Nanotechnologies in 2002, and then we later sold it in 2009. Today, we still fabricate and study reactive materials, but we focus mainly on reactive metal powders that we make by either sputtering, ball milling, and now ultrasonic atomization. The goal is to alloy the metal powders to improve their ignition and combustion in air for the prompt feed of both chem agents and bioagents, and they can also be used for better propellants. In a very different research project, we're working with multiple partners to develop magnesium alloys for biodegradable medical implants. Examples of implants in your body would be screws and plates for bone fixation, or porous scaffolds for filling bone defects. In all cases, we need to tune both the mechanical properties and the corrosion rates of these alloys, such that the implants degrade safely in the body while providing sufficient structural support until that bone heals. In terms of structural metals, we have two basic research projects. In the first, we're attempting to understand how excess vacancies can interact thermodynamically, not kinetically, with solute atoms to enhance solute clustering and thereby strengthen both magnesium and aluminum alloy. In the second project, we're using combinatorial studies to examine the mechanical properties and oxidation behavior of complex high temperature alloys that can have upwards of five different elements. We're really trying to understand what is the best mix of the many possible elements to improve performance. Throughout these three different efforts, I've been blessed to work with wonderful students, postdocs, and collaborators. In fact, I, I feel very lucky every day to be able to get up, work on an exciting projects, and hopefully begin to make the world a better place. Thank you.